process is so important to organizations, it has to be taken very seriously. Given PR budgets, it's like hiring an additional employee or two. So this is a very critical decision, and it has to be made through a very thorough process. Unfortunately, today with time constraints, shorter budgets, uh, smaller departments, there's less of an opportunity to really identify uh, the agencies that, that you need and spending the time really to, to pinpoint the agency that you need to hire and really build a good relationship with them. So a lot of the problems that you hear with the um, agency and organization relationship sometimes just really roll back to the fact that it was done in haste and the decision process really wasn't made properly and, and as well as it should have been. So the PR agencies, they need to respond better to the organizations but they can only respond better and respond smarter when the organizations provide them um, a properly written, well-timed, properly scheduled RFP. Now, on the flip side, organizations have concerns about RFPs in the process as well. Many of them find it too daunting of a process for them to begin to search for an agency. Many of them don't realize that ultimately it takes a good, on average, 150 to 200 hours just to really complete the RFP process. When you consider all the writing of the actual RFP, when you consider the searching of the agency, the review of all the agency responses, the calling in of the agencies, um, all the different steps really add up to many hours and quite frankly a lot of the uh, corporate, corporate PR departments don't have the time uh, or, the, or, the, or the staff to really even handle that uh, in this day and age. So. The other problem that organizations have is that they don't know really what agency to go to. They know the pool of agencies uh, from their own personal knowledge, from some of the uh, industry trade publications, from friends or colleagues in the industry, but they don't recognize or even understand that there's a lot more agencies out there right now, maybe small boutiques, maybe really qualified independents that can really help them in the, um, with their scope of work. If they're, if they're actually included in the RFP. Attention to detail is so much part of the RFP process, both on the corporate side and certainly on the PR agency side. There's a famous PR story, it could be folklore at this point, that um, a, a large shipping company issued an RFP and wouldn't you know that one of the PR agencies that responded to the RFP used a competitor shipping company to respond. It's that kind of attention to detail which unfortunately could really be a detriment to an agency. The end result of that story, as the story, as the history goes, is that that shipping company um, that was looking for an agency literally just dumped the RFPs into the trash can when it came from a, a competitor. The first step RFP associates, my company will, will always advise a company to do, is to look and perform an internal audit. We need to assess the situation of what we currently have. If an organization has a PR agency and is not happy with them, why? Maybe there are steps that could be taken to repair a relationship and a situation as opposed to simply starting from scratch. It would be a lot easier to bring um, uh, an existing agency up to speed with a current agenda and scope of work as opposed to starting totally anew with, with a brand new entity. The other element is what do we really need? What are the essential elements of the current project or the long-term scope of work that the organization requires which brings us to needing this RFP today? Another very important element is budget. I can't begin to tell you how misperceived budget is as part of the RFP process. I think oftentimes organizations just look at what they have in the bank uh, and just amortize it maybe over 12 months and feel that this is the proper way to go about it. But a lot of elements need to be taken into, into consideration when planning um, the RFP and thinking about the budget. There's how much is the billable hours of an agency. There's how much out of pocket is required. There are so many deep elements that go beyond just picking a random number than just, uh, than just planning a budget and putting it into the scope of work. PR agency search has been done before in our industry and in fact in the advertising industry there are quite a few companies that actually do this. But RFP Associates feels that we're the only organization out there right now representing 
solely clients looking to hire PR agencies. And in fact, we consider ourselves um, a true honest broker between organizations and agencies because we are working in the interests of our organizations, but we are very familiar with the agencies nationwide. I really think that our profession will benefit better by having uh, a more improved and streamlined RFP process, and I hope that RFP Associates can be a part of that.